Arrested 40-year-old Tatanisha Hedman of Renton, Washington set a pedophile Muslim man on fire for raping her daughter? And did this happen recently? No, that's not true. Macedonian fake news websites are reposting news from 2014 about a woman who set fire to her husband for molesting his stepdaughter and claim without any evidence the man is Muslim. It is just a cheap ploy to get clicks by abusing people's emotions. A recent example of the story comes from an article published by the website civicasdrove.com on August 19, 2018 titled, Breaking, Woman Sets Pedophile Muslim Man on Fire After Catching Him Rape Seven-Year-Old Daughter, civicasdrove.com, which opened. Quote, A woman has been arrested for dousing her husband with gasoline and setting him on fire after she caught him raping her seven-year-old daughter. 40-year-old Tatanisha Hedman of Renton, Washington, said she wanted to burn her pedophile husband alive because shooting him was too nice. According to Renton police, Vincent Phillips, 52, was soaked in highly flammable fuel after he fell asleep in bed next to his wife. Investigators confirmed that he was then set on fire whilst he was sleeping. Phillips then fled the apartment and managed to drive his car down the street whilst still ablaze to a Skyway convenience store screaming I'm on fire. End quote. Users on social media only saw this title, description and thumbnail, leading them to think it was recent news because of the breaking and the publication date. Quote. Breaking. Woman sets pedophile Muslim man on fire after catching him rape seven-year-old daughter. Civicasdrove.com A woman has been arrested for dousing her husband with gasoline and setting him on fire after she caught him. End quote. Here are two articles from 2014 and 2015 about what actually happened. You can see most of the hoax article has been copy-pasted but the part about the man being a Muslim was added to the headline and different, unrelated pictures were selected. Quote. Wife sets husband on fire in bed A man who was allegedly set on fire by his wife after she accused him of molesting his young stepdaughter, is now facing sex crime charges. Police allege Tatanisha Hedman, 40, doused her husband in petrol while he was sleeping before setting him on fire at their apartment in Renton, Washington State, in the U.S. End quote. Quote. Police, man set on fire by wife now faces sex crime charges Renton, Washington The man who was badly burned when his wife allegedly set him on fire is now facing sex crime charges. Renton police earlier said Vincent Phillips, 52, had been doused in gasoline July 17 while he slept in bed by his wife, Tatanisha Hedman. End quote. At least one of the pictures of burning men illustrating the story is from 2005 and shows a Romanian man protesting. Quote. BBC News, in pictures, day in pictures some of the most striking images from around the world on the 11th of July 2005. End quote. The exact same story also appeared on notorious fake news website Now 8 News in 2017 with the misleading photographs and without mentioning the religion of the man. Quote. Breaking. Woman sets husband on fire for molesting her seven-year-old daughter A woman is in custody after setting her husband on fire for allegedly molesting her seven-year-old daughter. According to police, Tatanisha Hedman, 40, poured gasoline on her husband Vincent Phillips, 52, as he slept. At that point, she allegedly set him on fire. End quote. At the time Snopes checked the story too and found that most of the details were accurate except for the photos. Quote. Fact check. Woman sets her husband on fire for raping her seven-year-old daughter. A woman set her husband on fire for molesting their daughter. A woman set her husband on fire in 2014 for molesting their daughter. The photographs typically associated with this story depict neither the incident nor the persons involved in it. End quote. However the addition of the word Muslim in the headline clearly makes this fake news, as is pretending the story just happened recently.